Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification if you want to see more video. Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to review uh, FNP19, P90. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, click and hide. Active parts. Not active part, I'm sorry. Uh, slow 50 and parts name okay now this is the frame right frame left side okay first let's fire it we're firing in single fire okay that single fire how it works in single fire let's see it more closely okay in single fire you pull the trigger trigger body okay the trigger body will push the red the red the red operating no it's rod it's supposed to be rod operating this rod operating will push this sear rear okay sear rear will go back it will slide inside the hammer hammer group body so we remove the hammer group body first okay now let's uh, we, we pull the trigger and the rod operating will push the sear rear backward okay the difference here in single fire and full auto is how far the trigger uh, the rear sear rear, rear is, I'm, I'm gonna call it sear okay the sear is uh, pull uh, is pushed back by the rod operating okay it's operating rod okay i will say it operating rod and the sear okay so when you when you pull the trigger it will push it back in single fire it only go this far okay you can see it from the from this position okay you can see how how far how far it move okay just that far in full auto you will see this uh, pin will move this far away backward okay so okay let's let's see it again we're pushing the trigger operating rod is pushing the sear and the sear will disengage the hammer and the hammer will the hammer will hit the firing pin okay bullet is firing and uh, the blowback happen okay and uh, when when the block is bridge block is pushing down the hammer back into position this connector will hold it okay in position like that okay let's see fire okay the, the this connector will hold the hammer the hammer until you release the trigger okay you release the trigger and the sear will ca ca catch the hammer back okay so you're you're firing this connector holding the hammer you release the trigger and the sear will go forward to catch the ha hammer and you're back in position that's single fire okay so let's see it from this position okay wait yep we should look from here Okay, let's. I'm uh, okay. Okay, how, how the bullet fall? Okay, there is ejector here. Okay, that push down the round, so it will fall. Okay. So. 
Okay. Okay. So the ejector is have a spring that push the ejector forward. So when the when the round is out of the chamber, the ejector will push it down, and it's disconnected from the extractor, and the bullet will be will be ejected down. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's single fire. Let's try it full auto. Okay, so how full auto works? It's very simple. Just here, the fire selector. Okay, here in fire selector, you see this. Okay, so this is this is what. Uh, limit that single and full auto because in 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 single fire uh, the the sear is move just half okay but in full auto it can move even farther so this position what I'm saying what moving is this okay this yeah, you will see it from here okay from here and when you have this okay this pin you can see this here in single fire it moves just to this point but in full auto it will move back here okay let's let's see the fire selector first okay so you move the fire selector to this position to allow the trigger to go even further okay Let's let's uh, let's let's compare how how far the trigger go. Okay, in two x. That's how far the tr the trigger go in full auto in single fire. Only half. Okay, let's get back to full auto now. Now let's see full auto. You see the trigger uh, the parallel pin and the sear move to this point like it move to backward position like hit this end okay so like that and single fire like that okay I hope you understand now in full auto let's let's see it how it works in full auto I'm gonna go in uh, 50x Okay, I'm gonna hold the space button uh, so it can fire continuously. So you can see first round, second round, third round, fourth. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, there's a auto sear here. I don't know why they name it sear while this is sear rear. Just call it sear here and uh, this call it full auto auto sear. I don't know why they did it. maybe maybe they get get the developer get the uh, model like with french name so they uh, belgian yeah belgian speak french i think so they they get it in french and they translate it to english so they get this weird name like red operating what the hell okay so that's full auto let's see the normal speed maybe put on suppressor first okay full auto Now what everyone likes is uh, maybe we check safety first. Okay, safety, safety. How safety work? So safety work like that. This fire selector in this position, so the trigger cannot move back. Okay, so that's safety. Now uh, the magazine. Okay, the magazine is 
like this okay so everyone is confusing with these two part this is a like a follower a dummy ammunition so it can push push the round into this uh, into this twist position okay because this follower will stop in this position so if 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 uh, if it cannot push the round into the position into the magazine lips uh, the the what what is, okay sorry I'm, why I'm removing that okay so let me let me repeat okay so the follower if there is no this there is no roll one and two it's dummy dummy round in, in the follower the follower will stop right here okay so when the follower stop right here when you when you push this round in then you have like empty space here so if the gun is tilting into weird position then the round cannot be push into the lips of the magazine magazine into a like feeding position okay so you will have a malfunction the the round did not feed into the chamber so so that's why they put this roll around so okay let's see what I mean okay you can fall out though okay you see here you see here uh, so for, uh, single fire so you see why why you need roller here okay 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 you see hmm. now the the follower cannot move it already reach the end of the magazine why you need these two dummy round because if there's no dummy round there then this there's empty space here if you like tilt the the weapon the round will go back like there is they, there there's a gap for for the part to move a lot okay so they put this roller as a dummy round so it will keep push the round into this uh, like helix here that twist the round okay so when you fire okay so this dummy round is twist along with the bullets okay you see the twisting with the bullet okay just for that function okay so the roller will stuck in this position no, not stuck will stay in this position so the the real round can be uh, positioned in the magazine lips so it can be pushed into the chamber more secure okay more uh, without fail okay just like that that's last round firing uh, and that's it the roller did not, did not go down okay okay so that's it now let's reload so yeah this magazine catch there is a spring inside so you you how you reload just pull this back the magazine catch back with with your uh, thumb and so you hold the two side so you if you using uh, your right hand to fire and left hand to reload then your thumb will push this and uh, your point finger your point finger will push this part so you push it and pull it back so you can reload like that okay so that's it now let's check out the accessories or oh, maybe we unload first just like that okay full auto 
let's put on uh, scope that's the law the slow okay this is a uh, scope in the scope for the for FNP90 okay so now let's put in laser uh, why it's purple whatever okay and flashlight light on oh okay something something wrong okay whatever no problem okay now colors oh they have gold now they have gold now okay so that's color uh, camo desert camo a normal uh, original I don't know why it's gold or something it's probably matte color not gold yeah I don't know yeah okay so that's it and thank you everyone thank you for watching everyone I will see you in the next video bye bye